The Vastness of the Universe, A Journey Through Space, Time, and Human Curiosity. Webb Telescope, we embark on a vast exploration to discover the true size of our universe. Humanity has always been fascinated by the night sky, staring upward and wondering about the countless lights dotting the heavens. Now, with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, and countless ground-based observatories, our ability to probe the cosmos has expanded far beyond what was once imaginable. With every new discovery, we gain perspective not only on the cosmos but also on our own place within it. For perspective, if we were traveling at a speed of 70 miles per hour, it would take us about 15 days to complete one lap around Earth's equator. It would take approximately five months to reach the moon, 63 years to reach Mars at its closest point, and a staggering 4,400 years to reach Neptune. These figures alone demonstrate the immense scale of our solar system. This comparison helps us visualize how even at a speed familiar to us in daily life, a modest 70 miles per hour, the solar system quickly becomes impossibly vast. The moon, so bright and near in our night sky, is already months away by car. Mars, the focus of decades of exploration, would take a human lifetime. Neptune, on the other hand, would take dozens of human lifetimes to reach at that speed. To put this into context, consider the Voyager 1 probe launched in 1977. It traveled at a speed of 38,000 miles per hour and did not leave the solar system until 2012, meaning it spent 35 years just to exit our solar system. This is a sobering reminder of scale. Voyager 1 was one of the fastest human-made objects ever created, moving far faster than any car, plane, or spacecraft bound for Mars. And yet, at nearly 40,000 miles per hour, it still required decades to finally reach interstellar space. Even light, which can circle the Earth seven times in a single second, seems relatively slow compared to the vastness of our solar system. And although our solar system is vast, it is dwarfed by the enormity of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way contains approximately 300 billion stars, each of which likely has its own planetary systems. This scale stretches human comprehension. Even the fastest thing we know, light itself, feels inadequate when used to measure the distances between stars and planets. Our nearest neighboring star, Alpha Centauri, is 4.3 light years away, which means that if we were to travel at the speed of light, it would still take us 4.3 years to get there. Now, imagine the time it would take to reach Alpha Centauri at the speed of the Voyager probe, 38,000 miles per hour. It would take a staggering 70,000 years. This highlights the immensity of the distances involved in exploring the cosmos. Our nearest star is so far away that our most advanced probes would need tens of thousands of years to arrive, longer than the entirety of recorded human civilization. Let us now focus on Velt Rouge, a star located 640 light years away. Considering what we call the radio sphere, which represents the distance our radio transmissions have covered in the last century, the signals, though significantly degraded, have so far reached about 15,000 star systems. However, this figure is only a fraction compared to the number of stars in the Milky Way. This introduces a fascinating idea. While humans have been broadcasting signals for about a century, the bubble of our technological presence is minuscule compared to the galaxy itself. Out of 300 billion stars, our signals have touched only a fraction of 1%. If you look at Velt Rouge in the night sky tonight, you're actually seeing light that left its surface 640 years ago, about 100 years before Columbus set sail for the New World. This light has struggled across the universe for all that time and is just now reaching our planet. It is truly amazing to realize that Velt Rouge on a universal scale is relatively close. Astronomical observation is time travel. Every star we see is an image from the past, some just a few years old, others thousands or millions. With telescopes like Webb, we can even see galaxies as they existed billions of years ago, close to the dawn of time itself. To amaze you even more, consider that our radio sphere, which encompasses all human radio transmissions, is minuscule within the immense expanse of the Milky Way. To help us imagine this, if we were to reduce our solar system to the size of a quarter placed on a map of the United States, then the entire Milky Way would be as vast as the entire planet Earth. In this immense region, there are about 300 billion star systems and their planets. We are just one of those 300 billion systems floating in the midst of an unimaginably large number of stars and planets beyond our galaxy. There are at least a trillion more galaxies. Yes, a trillion. A trillion is an incredibly large number. To understand its magnitude, imagine a collection of 1,000 cats. Now, suppose that there are a thousand groups of cats, each consisting of 1,000 cats. That gives us a million cats. 
But to understand a trillion, remember that a trillion equals a million times a million, a staggering number of cat encounters. Our minds are not naturally built to grasp numbers of this scale. Analogies like these help us stretch our imagination. Our nearest neighboring galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy, located 2.5 million light years away. Andromeda is rapidly approaching us at a tremendous speed. As this galaxy approaches, our night sky will undergo significant changes. The Andromeda Galaxy contains about 1 trillion stars. When it eventually collides with our own Milky Way Galaxy, which has 300 billion stars, the chances of individual stars from both galaxies colliding are quite slim. This illustrates the vastness of space and the low probability of direct interactions between stars within a galaxy. Galactic collisions, although rare at the level of individual stars, may even facilitate life between stars and galaxies. Galaxies are not static systems. They are dynamic and constantly evolving. As we move away from our galaxy, we encounter our local group of galaxies, followed by the Virgo Cluster, which contains more than 1,500 galaxies. The Virgo Cluster is part of a larger supercluster known as Laniakia, which contains approximately 100,000 galaxies. Each of these 100,000 galaxies has hundreds of billions of stars and planets of its own. And this is only a small part of the big picture. In the observable universe, there are another 10 million similar superclusters. As we zoom out and observe, we discover an increasing number of mapped galaxies. These are the galaxies we've identified and charted. However, these mapped galaxies represent only a small fraction of what is actually out there. There are hundreds of billions of galaxies that have not yet been fully mapped. In addition, we must consider the cosmic background radiation, which represents the oldest detectable light, the residual heat left over from the Big Bang. This radiation is a remnant from the early stages of our universe's existence. The scale of the universe becomes even more staggering when we consider the vastness beyond galaxies. We find regions in space known as cosmic voids where matter is scarce compared to the rest of the universe. These cosmic voids are immense, spanning hundreds of millions of light years in diameter and appear as vast expanses of seemingly empty space. However, these voids have the potential to give rise to the formation of future structures and galaxies. As we move deeper into the cosmos, we encounter cosmic filaments, which are colossal threads composed of dust, gas, and dark matter that stretch across billions of light years connecting galaxies and galaxy clusters. These cosmic filaments form a cosmic web-like structure that binds the universe together through gravitational interaction. The distribution of matter in the universe is not uniform, but shows a cosmic web pattern where clusters and superclusters of galaxies are connected by these cosmic filaments. This creates an intricate tapestry that spans unimaginable distances. It is within these cosmic filaments and superclusters that galaxies congregate interacting through gravity. The vastness of space offers a grand and abundant stage to the existence of countless celestial objects and phenomena. For example, supernovae, the explosive deaths of massive stars, disperse heavy elements throughout the cosmos and enrich the interstellar medium and planetary systems. Black holes with their immense gravity play a determining role in the evolution of galaxies and can release jets of energy that extend great distances into space. In the depths of space, we also find exotic phenomena such as quasars, which are supermassive black holes that feed on intermittent matter and emit colossal amounts of energy. These quasars can eclipse entire galaxies and act as beacons of the early universe, allowing us to study the cosmos in its early stages. The question arises, however, what lies beyond the observable universe? There are numerous additional galaxies beyond our visual reach, as the light from these galaxies has not had enough time to reach Earth. In addition, due to the continuous expansion of space and the constant motion of galaxies, the light from most of these distant galaxies will never reach us. As a result, these regions may remain inaccessible to us indefinitely. As the universe extends, we can make inferences based on our understanding of the laws of physics. These inferences suggest that the entire universe is at least 250 times larger than the observable universe. In fact, there are compelling arguments suggesting that its size could be even larger, potentially infinite. In this context, a broader perspective emerges that leads us to consider the nature of the universe and our place in it as human beings on a remote planet within the vast expanse of space. Contemplating these possibilities invites us to reflect on our existence and our roles in the cosmos. So, have you ever wondered how vast our universe is? Well, if so, I hope this video has helped you to understand even a little more the immensity of the cosmos. I hope you use the comment box to share any questions. And if you like the video, hit the like button, share it to reach more people, 
and subscribe to not miss more content like this. Thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next. As we continue our journey through the cosmos, it's important to realize that our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. New instruments such as the James Webb Space Telescope have opened up possibilities.